All right, podcast number yes. one. Damn it, Jose, you ruined it. You talked over me. <laughs> <laughs> That's just going to stay how it is. All right. <laughs> okay. Yes. Anyways. <clears throat> Sorry, Jelani, because this was supposed to be with him and not with Jose because he's sick right now and Jose just happens to be here all the time for some reason. I'm in every video. I cannot escape it. You are in, you you are in way me. too many of my videos. Like, it's just, like, this channel is almost just me and you. Almost. Mm -hmm. Whose channel is it really? You're just my editor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my ignore God. the name. Uh, ignore the name. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody even knows your in-game name that much anyways. I never say it. It's all true. Yeah. I'm nameless. No, you're Jose. You're the Korean Mexican that I find very weird. I don't know. <laughs> Th those two seem like it, I don't see those combinations that often. <laughs> Anyways, sorry London, it was supposed to be with you. I know you're sick. Hope you get better. And second note, this is a cop out because I like to keep my YouTube channel very active. Kind of. I don't know. Maybe one. Jose, do you call uh two videos a month active? <laughs> Okay, well, I like to keep it more active than that. So, this is what this is going to be. Keep it not dead. Yeah, keep it not dead. Yeah. And it's also, uh, third note, it's my se uh, therapy session to bitch out at Jose for now because living in Japan is stressing a lot more than I thought it would be. And fourth note, nothing you, he you hear on this sh podcast is researched. It's all BS and should not be taken seriously. So yeah, there's all the notes, Jose. So first topic, Bowsette. I like Bowsette. I like the way she looks. And you said she was very basic. Yeah, I see like a hundred different lead females in her. Like and, just but, just hide the ta the tail, and she looks like <laughs> any 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 other character with a black dress. Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, kind it, of. it could just it's, maybe. I it's, mean, it's not bad. Yeah, I just bad. can't get past that. But I'd maybe rather it's see the simple Bouette. part. Bouette. I actually haven't seen that Bouette. much. Bouette. She uh, has like white, bluish hair. Mm, kind of like uh. And is very timid. <clears throat> like that Dark Souls boss. What's her name again? I can't remember. Priscilla. Yeah, Priscilla. Dark Souls one. Mm -hmm. Kinda. Yeah. Kinda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She sounds hot. <laughs> <laughs> you look it up so you can tell. I don't know. Anyways, so uh, for my buddy Kenny who didn't know what Bowsette was, so Nintendo had a a gameplay footage of a toad, a female toad, and she was walking around in her whatever Mario World, and she found a peach, peach crown or peach's crown, some kind of crown, and she put that on and became a toadette and became a lot more girly i guess i'm not exactly sure what is what kind of transformation it happened on that gameplay because i didn't see it till the end yeah but anyways so from that interaction people started putting that crown on other mario characters like bowser and boo and there you have it a bowser and boozette call that boozette yeah pretty much Boozette. i wonder what a koopa looks like all right next topic jose what are we doing uh, I thought you were going to rant about your life in Japan. Oh, my, li my life in Japan rant. <laughs> huh? That was practically the majority of it. Eh, you know, that's a lot of downers. What do you imagine a life in Japan, Jose? Did you ever uh, want to come visit? Did you ever want to come visit or live here? Live? I don't know. It, it's very complicated. I feel like for the lifestyle I kind of want, it would be better to live there, but then I also want more free time. So working six days a week is not ideal. But yes. to be able to like have my own apartment, I live mean, my solitary life, and then just go to like Seven Eleven and just <laughs> live that life, of going to work and just gaming. I feel like in Japan it would somewhat work. That's literally what my cousin does. I mean, he lives in a one room apartment that his company provides actually so he doesn't have to pay rent. Dang. 
It's but it's literally one room apartment. Like you you walk in, you see the other side of the wall, you see the bed, the kitchen, the living room, everything. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm fine with that. I don't need extra space. <laughs> and then that's pretty much it. But he gets to keep uh, at least, or at least he doesn't have a like a mortgage or anything. He gets to spend all his money on whatever he likes to do. Yeah, see, that would be nice. Yeah. And then you know, like if I don't feel like cooking, just go to the Seven Eleven and get a full meal. Yeah. And I work six days a week, but not all jobs require six days a week. I'm pretty sure mine's pretty irregular. I'm not sure, but I don't like working six days a week, and I don't think other people do either. Why I like to stay out. Not have to deal with people. Yep. I would like to stay inside, too. Although when I do go out and I see those interactions of fear that I put into people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds nice. That does sound nice. I still think the best one, I went to a Mexican bakery. And I walked in there, you know, just looking at whatever. And this guy, he's a little shorter than me. Comes in with his kid, you know, he's, he's being a father, you know, having fun with his kid. Mm -hmm. And then he looks up at me and it was like a fucking chihuahua looking at a, at, at a pit bull. <laughs> the, and he just tightened up and was, was scared. You don't and I'm just look looking at him scary, like... Though. Yeah, exactly. So, and I just looked at him like, okay, whatever, minding my own business. But on the inside, I just wanted to crack up because he instantly <laughs> like, oh god, I'm gonna die. But I'm just standing there like holding, holding our bread with tongs. Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna kill you with these tongs, okay? Uh, oh man, instances like that are the best. That is funny. Yeah, let, let me just have you constantly around me in Japan, tell everyone to get the fuck away and stop touching me and don't get too near me and your kids. Get your kids away from me. There are so many kids here, Jose. There are so many kids. Like, I've never seen this many amount of kids in my life. They're just running around everywhere. Like, it's weird that they just don't get kidnapped or something. Like, I really don't. I see a kid running around, and I'm just like, is that a free kid? Like, where's the parents? Is a free kid. <laughs> <laughs> that, free kids here. <laughs> free kids everywhere. That's seriously how it is, though. They're just like, you really don't see the parents. And, like, uh, and they're like, a, Two three year olds just running around, and I'm just like, damn, that's a free kid or something for some kind of predator. <laughs> <laughs> like that's fine, I guess. But when there's parents with the child and the child is just going berserk and just running around everywhere, causing annoyance to everybody, that kind of irritates me. I don't like that. I mean, kids will be kids, but damn, you're in a public area, the kids just crying and screaming and running around and like they'll be running past right in front of me i almost i feel like i could destroy a little kid i can't i can't see him sometimes because they're so small imagine how i feel <laughs> every time i go out and i see a kid not looking like i better stop moving or i'm gonna kill this kid on ice uh like i was just and then when they bump into me i'm like i'm not that bouncy holy shit <laughs> i know i got some i got some blubber but holy crap i'm not that bouncy the way some kids react uh, Especially against my leg, my legs are strong. Like that's most mostly muscle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I find it weirder. Like sometimes the parents would just watch and stare as they walk into you. Yeah, it's but weird. You think they would be like, "Hey, child, stop it!" Yeah, grab that's, grab that's your child by the shirt or by the hand, and you know, but no, they'll they'll straight up let them walk into me, and I'm I'll just stand there, I'm like stare at them, and they just look at me like, "Uh, I'm I'm getting out of here." Yeah, like where's that <laughs> discipline, man? Come on. Like when I mean, I'm walking in a crowd of people, I can't really see because I can't really look down at my feet because there's just so many people and there's little kids running around, like little rats around my feet. And I'm like, damn, Rhiannon, I almost destroyed that kid. And she's like, well, then the kid will be destroyed. <laughs> and I just started cracking up. <laughs> You've been to maid cafes, right? Maid cafes? Once, yeah. Why? I actually liked it, like in the anime, make you sing the magical, put a spell on your omelet so it tastes better. Yes, uh, that actually exists, and that is very embarrassing to do, and I did not do that. It was just very awkward. Because I wasn't doing it, and she was kind of forced to do it on her own, and I just kind of stared at her doing it. It's... Yeah. But my cousin did it with her, so... <laughs> <laughs> he, he was having a fun time. It's so so weird. It is. Weird. We definitely don't have anything like that in the states. Yeah, we're just gonna stop it here because it's taking way too long. I don't even know.